my friend just reminded me. She goes, are you going to keep your hair like Oh, why wouldn't you? Because it's not pink. Well, I saw you took a picture of your Lala and it had black hair. It was recent. Yeah, I think you were doing like a costume. Uh huh. I only change it for specific glamours, otherwise, it's always pink. Mm, you know, I didn't start out with white hair, I had like dark brown for a really long time. Div said he'll be a couple minutes. Okay, no problem. And I don't think Faye got the ping, but that's okay. If she wants to hop on, she can. You know, I actually went to Starbucks the other day because... First, Renoa, and then Sushi, um, just two people that I was talking to, doesn't matter, were telling me that I needed to go try the pumpkin cream cold brew at Starbucks. Oh, did you? They were like, if you like the pumpkin spice latte, you will probably like this more, especially if you like cold brews as much as you say you do. And I'm like, okay, well, with that gauntlet thrown, have to go try it. I went! And I tried to order it, and they were like, sorry, the cold brew won't be ready for 18 hours. <laughs> I was like, oh, okay. Aww. I could have waited 18 minutes, but then you followed up with hours, so, <laughs> no. Wow. I wonder, was it the machine then, I'm guessing? It just means that they ran out of t that day's cold brew wow. and had to make another batch for the next day. That's pretty cool, though. Yeah. I, I mean, I, I understand once you're out of cold brew, it's not like you can just make more. Yep. Hello. Hi, Akrai. Hello, everybody. Skullfishy. Katie. 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 I mean, Rylira. I'm outing her. Oops. Ooh. We're just waiting on Div. But uh, let's see. I'm going to get a drink real quick. Okay, sounds good. So what do you guys think? Should I share a picture of my bunny Snuggie in Discord or not? <laughs> Yes. It's so warm. I love it so much. I'm so excited. <laughs> like, okay, so Texas, obviously, it's still 100 degrees here today. But, um, you know... In a couple of weeks, I'm going to be moving to Michigan, and I am so ready to just have this Snuggie on constantly during the fall. <laughs> okay, I'm back. Welcome back. I heard a Snuggie. So is a Snuggie, is that like a onesie, or is it just a really, what it's is a, it? It's a blanket that you wear. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it, I, I mean... <laughs> It's like a like a poncho. Yeah. No, I mean you use that one gif all the time of the like overly white family camping in snuggies. That's <laughs> like snuggie. Oh my god. Yeah, those are snuggies. Yeah. Oh my god. Faye, did you get the ping? She did. She can't come this weekend. Oh, Faye can't play. That 
it's okay. Come play with us. Yes. <laughs> oh, speak <laughs> speaking of which, uh, Faye, if you've been following us, um, and I'll, you, you've probably seen her in FD, she's joined the HGXIV team. Gonna be an editor. Yay! Welcome, Faye! Very excited. We are, we are now quarters instead of thirds. Yeah. <laughs> we are growing. Like butter spread over too much bread. Nah, not really that bad. I was about to say, we're not stretched <laughs> that thin. <laughs> if, okay, if, let's see. If Where anything, should I post this picture? You should post it in FD and put it on your Twitter and then I will retweet. Oh lord, no, it's not going on Twitter. Yes. Nope, 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 nope. I'll put it in FD, but it's not going on Twitter. <sighs> Yeah, we're gonna have Faye work on our BID videos. Trying to do that. It's been something we've been trying to do for a long time. And we've asked several YouTubers <laughs> if they wanted to do it. And some have even approached us and then they never get back to us about it. Maybe it's because we make too many break it downs and they're like, uh oh. Can't keep up. Just too Good much. evening, everyone. Hi, Hi Dan. Dan. Did you see my Hello. snuggie? What? Did you see my Snuggie? <laughs> Your Snuggie? I didn't see it, I think. What is it? Where is it? <laughs> what is a Snuggie, Div says. Actually, uh, trying to figure out what a Snuggie is right now. <laughs> What's a fresh American right? heck? Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> my European uh, buttocks can comprehend what you're saying. Your European buttocks. Hey, listen, I, I'm trying to save money. I can't afford to put anything in the jar right now. Oh, that's right. That's <laughs> right. You're right. You're right. <laughs> good. Good, good. Okay, so what were you guys talking about? Very true. We are going to be talking about mannequins. And as you can see, I have a beautiful display in the background. Somebody's. Oh, that's Rhapsody. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> oh, by the way, Ashen, uh, whenever you switch over to the actual video feed, you should come over to this cactus over here. Oh, is that the thick one? <laughs> this is the thick cactus. Oh, yes. Thick. Oh, goodness. Anyway. Yeah, but that, that background picture that we have on the screen right now, uh, yeah. You see all those lovely mannequins? Yeah. All the mannequins. Can, can like you three mannequins. Yeah, can you tell where the mannequins are? <laughs> I see two, I think, because I haven't looked at this picture before, and I can only see two right now. Is there more? There are three total in that picture. Oh, I think I see the third. Yeah, I think I do. Where do you think it is? So, I see two um, with the pumpkins, the white one. Uh-huh. Th those are the um, Halloween hats, right? Yes, that is correct. And... And so, um, I think in the, the uh, flower thingy decoration of the wall, the little ribbon? Yes! Oh, is it actually? I, I have no idea what- Yeah! I, I have no idea where the ribbon is from, but I know that this <laughs> is not a furniture item. <laughs> That's right. So, yeah, I'm not any kind of glamour um, expert. As much as I know about housing stuff, you know, just literally Div's like, I know that's not a furniture, so that must be it, the process of elimination. But yeah, Is this a mod? I, had, I was like, oh my god, please no. Like, oh, kills me every time. Um, but yeah, I was like, I have no idea. So I was trying to use the, like, ladies' yukata thing, the... Uh, the thing from the fire festival like a couple years back and i was like i really want this bow to work um but it just wasn't like i couldn't get it to work and saw him bless her was like why don't you try this spring whatever straw hat and i was like oh okay and i did that mannequin is not even floated like that's just the height that it is and it perfectly hides in the wall and it's the perfect height oh. for that wreath i was like whoa that's amazing here what race is the model I'm inside. We're gonna take this apart. <laughs> well, we're gonna no. rotate walls. 
We can. We can take it apart. I don't care. Let's uh, give me a second to pop up the screen. <laughs> Destroy it. <laughs> take it down. Break it down. Get Yay. it. <laughs> the only downside to uh, the, 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 the name displayed above the mannequin is just so annoying. Yeah, and I have that off <laughs> on my screen, honestly. Oh yeah, it's the same as with the arrows, but it, unlike with the... I think it, it would be easier if um, you ha would have the option to turn it off for visitors, so the name only displays for a person who's actually in control. Yeah, yeah that would be nice, like, if mm. that was a house option to turn off yeah. all the interactable item thing. Mm -hmm. Alright, so these are the scary pumpkin faces. I'm gonna rotate it. Oh, do I have to go below? <laughs> <laughs> you might have to. I don't it wanna. Is. Lore, it is visitable. Visit, visitable? Yes. But um, visitable. action might be might be tearing it apart, so. Oh, no, no. I'm not going to tear it apart. <laughs> <laughs> Can you really not? Yeah. I, I, well, I mean, no, I have to oh, go below. no, yeah. In housing, you can't click them. That's right. Yeah. Well, here. We have this one right here. At least you have like proper names for them because uh, sometimes it can get really weird if you see <laughs> something floating on the wall and it just says it's there's just period cramps on the I wall. I was about to <laughs> say period cramps there. What's wrong with that name, guys? <laughs> oh, it's it's that's right. Okay. You know, you know, I just yeah. hi I hired a new retainer named Placentipede. <laughs> oh my god. Anyways, so check this one out. <laughs> <laughs> this is a female row. Oh, it's a female row. I was about to ask mm. what race it was. How many flowers is this? You don't want to know. <laughs> I'm going to count it. Hold on. You don't, it's 16. <laughs> you don't want to know. Was this a... <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm scrolling, scrolling. Okay. You, you guys don't have to use 16 for those because like even like, I don't know, 9 up to 9 is going to be much... <laughs> It's gonna be sufficient no. enough to form a proper circle, but this is like- You can form a proper circle with eight, yeah. this looks much fuller and it has the different colors, I like it. This yeah. one looks so and cute the... in like a wedding venue. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. Well, and for this particular thing, I was I was trying to take a picture of this- This whole setup was simply for a screenshot to showcase the color palette. Um, so, you know, I can afford to drop 16 items on a wreath. Yeah, that's true. Also, with your first style uh, in particular, you have this, uh, as you said, you don't clutter much. You just have this focus on the walls and the decorative aspect of it. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't really matter if you're wasting 16 slots because it's not necessary for other parts of the house. Correct. Let's go look. Oh, there they are. So you used uh, this tabletop surface here, and that's something some people don't realize they can do. Uh, you use cushions for them to stand on. Right, so because it just has yeah. to—it just has to have collision. Like literally anything that your character can stand on, the mannequins and the NPCs can also use it to stand on. So it doesn't have to be a loft or a table or something like that. It's just weird how—is it the only tabletop item which has a collision surface, like an additional uh, one? I don't think so. I, you can stand on top of the like books and stuff. No, no, no but, but yeah, I know that you can stand on books, but the collision for items is not the same as the collision for players, so that's the fun thing about it. Oh. As far as I remember. So like, if you would use the books, for example, it I wouldn't work. I think you work. can use... I think you can sure? use the books. I, I mean, I'm not 100... I'm 98% sure you could probably use the books for a man. Hmm. That's interesting, actually, because, uh, for example... I'll go try it in an apartment right now. Yeah. If you place the Zabaton cushions down on a table, uh, you will also be able to... Fl like, you will have few items higher, right? Because it has the surface, but it doesn't... Like, like this doesn't apply to other items, as far as I remember when I mess around with... But I'm not quite sure, actually. So. Where's, your, where's your apartment? It, is it, doesn't it open? apply to... Uh... Yeah. It doesn't apply to other I uh, uh, well, I'm actually going to my FC room if that helps. You can are we are we friends? Ashen, are we friends? I don't know. I don't even have tickets. Uh, you know, never oh. mind. <laughs> I'm I was just going to go confirm, but the 
the cushion, like the collision is not the same as a tabletop surface. So what you were saying, Div, is that the Zabaton cushion, you can't set items on it, but it works specifically only for the loft glitch with NPCs and mannequins. Yeah. I'll fix that later, Ash. Uh, yeah, I, I broke that. Sorry. <laughs> it's fine. I, oh I, that's what I did earlier. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so yeah, this is very clever. What made you think of this? Uh, what, so this is, this is one that I swear is like impossible to answer, right? Because you just, when you're really just letting go and designing something just for fun, that's when the creativity comes out, right? Like it's not because you like, needed to make something that you hadn't seen before like i'm just i'm gonna sit down and make something no one's ever seen before like you'll never think of something at that but you're like what are you what are you gonna focus on then all you're gonna be yeah. able to focus on on stuff that people have made before and try to process of elimination i guess but what i wanted to do was i wanted to make a a pumpkin colored like palette for a room and i wanted it to be you know my style with the cutesy whatever and it just kind of flowed from there and i was like well floral wreath in neutral colors but i really want a wreath like i want a real wreath i want a flower wreath in this yeah. game and, and you yeah. know i'm drawing i'm drawing one right now like i have one in my sketchbook ready to oh. throw into photoshop and then put it into the uh, the furniture Wait, contest wasn't thing. there one or wasn't there uh, one box station uh, for christmas there are wreaths, but they're Christmas wreaths. Christmas. I, want to call. <laughs> I yeah. mean, yeah, but like, but like, okay. I mean, they've just, got like yeah. bells and bows and moogles. I don't know, like all over them. I would just want nice yeah. flowers and a little bow and like, you know, exactly what I have there. But anyway, um, yeah, it just it all just kind of flows when you're when you're just creating for yourself, I guess. Is what I actually I I can only supporters because i do the exact same and even like it goes even further than that for me because i never design anything outside of that creative window you're talking about <laughs> because like i i take like three hours or something working on one single thing and yeah um, is this I, one of this yes yeah oh yeah this is in my um sorry for the weird resolution i just wanted to uh have a quick dirty example ready <laughs> um yeah, I just I just built in like those old burst windows where I just have a creative phase where I just place things down just because I know it might look okay, but I don't like buy stuff like mm, maybe this will I would need to make a uh, I don't know machine like a specific machine. I'll just place random shit together whenever instead of ah. thinking of a specific item. Dollar. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Does that not look like a roast chicken to you though? That helmet. <laughs> yeah, it does I, actually. When, when I, yeah, when I dyed it, I, I dyed it brown first, and then I thought the exact same thing. I just I wanted to grab those horns. <laughs> like, <laughs> that's the that is the drumstick right there. Just, oh my goodness. I'm trying to find. Div wrote a really nice post about how to make mannequin displays because uh, even still oh, do you need a link yeah send me the link or i, I, I can find it that. i remember you shared that before i even knew who div was mm -hmm, yeah and uh i proofread it that's about all <laughs> i did <laughs> and oh, uh, yeah yeah be <laughs> thank you for that again by the way yeah i think you can just uh, type in weapon display on my tumblr yeah there it is one second yep. And so he wrote this and even just today actually i someone said i didn't know you could put weapons on mannequins and they did they don't know that you can do this stuff so it, it kind of reminds me like things that might seem common knowledge and old to me is brand new to people and this guide is very helpful we're gonna link it very true i i will i need to log into twitch because apparently it locked me out <laughs> one second um uh, no worries I, I, I can find it it's it's in yeah, tumblr okay. Yeah, I'm, I give you no, I'll give you a link in the Discord. I'm just gonna quickly try to figure out the login situation. <laughs> All right, so there's the link. Very comprehensive, step-by-step -step image guide. To uh, at the time when this was was released, there was only one version of a mannequin, and that was the the Macote. 
Makote, right? Yeah, Makote. Okay. Yeah, Makote. Yeah. And it was it had the tail, and it was like, how do we hide this? So yeah. So you'll see in examples, it's only going to be just that, and Div will be talking about hiding the tail. That's not necessary now, thankfully. Right. Yeah, it was really... I, I'm honestly surprised people didn't think about it when it was released, because, you know, we kind of got to be mannequins, but because we were so limited, people just never really acknowledged them. So they were like, either, like, they placed them very, you know, when something new drops and pe people can't really do anything with it yet because people haven't done anything online with them. So mm -hmm. they can't get really inspired to do something. Uh, um, yeah. And you, I think this was like two, one or two months after mannequins were introduced, right? Like, yeah. I, wasn't it like, I remember, was we were looking at the swamp built with a campfire and i saw this um the gun yes. on the wall and i was like wait what can you go weapons to mannequin is that how they got it to work or is it another player and then we were like going i was going into my house and i was like wait ash you can actually fucking do i we can actually do that um so i brought up a guy after messing around with it a lot because it was like it felt very revolutionary because we just couldn't display any weapons before like we don't even have to create of weapons which yeah. i'm also working on at the moment I or someone will help me i remember <laughs> we, you found that campfire picture and it was the gun and you were so excited and nobody else had really done anything and you were mm -hmm. like i need to do something right away show people what what we can do and yeah i was like why did no one notice that like why yeah. was why did this house not blow up? Because this is something complete. Like no one does. Uh, I wish I could name this person. Do you have? Uh, I can't. Name. I want to give them all the credit for this because they were the I very the first picture. person to ever. Do. Yeah. Do you have it? Uh, it's, it's, yeah. Yeah. But I'll, you don't have a link page. No, so, I saved it. So, uh, in in update, you absolutely can float a mannequin on top of the and use the the books. As the collision surface. <gasps> Wait, what kind, of, what kind of books? Any of them. Uh, any, even the tabletop so, books? Even so the tabletop books, yeah. So basically any tabletop which can support the player uh, collision. Yeah, yeah any, okay. any player collision will work. Even if it is not a counter surface for a tabletop item. That's very good to know because yeah. this will help me a lot. Now... Uh, yes. That's why I think the Zabuton cushion is so useful, is because it's got a very thin profile and it really will go anywhere because you can float it on a, you know, on a shelf, like anywhere, literally. So it's, it's. Yeah. Rapsy, so you, you mentioned something earlier. I, I wasn't paying attention. It was about mannequins. And something you said apparently was very revolutionary to people. What was it about the selling oh. and the. <laughs> Okay, so people were complaining that they liked displaying armor and weapons and stuff on mannequins in the houses, but they didn't like how many sale slots it takes up on their retainers, because every time you place a mannequin, you have to tie it to one of your retainers, and then when you set something for sale or display on the mannequin, it is in your retainers, you know, 20 sale slots that they have available. And even if you set them just for display, not for sale, so they're not even on the market board, um, they're still taking up that mannequin slot or that retainer slot. Well, very easy fix. Uh, your retainer is accessed either via the mannequin or obviously the traditional summoning bell. So you set it to display on your mannequin. You go to your summoning bell. You go to that retainer. You go to their for sale list and uh, just take it off of their for sale list. Return it to your inventory. And so if your only goal is just to display something, not actually sell it, it will still show up visually on the mannequin in your house. It will not, the item will not actually be like there physically, but, but, you, you, know, see it, yeah. but you see it. And that's all you need when you're just displaying something like it, it, just hiding the mannequin and using the weapon or you, literally whatever. For this display in my old FC house, it was just supposed to look like a flower shop. And so I had different floral hats and corsages um, as part of the florist ambiance, you know, and so they didn't necessarily need to be the, the item on the mannequin for sale. I just wanted them there for furniture, more furniture, essentially. And so um, they don't actually have to be taking up my retainers for sale slots. So you just go in, take them back off and 
now you have your glamour piece again, and you can sell 20 items on that retainer again. Yeah, easy like peasy. a good birch, birch camp, like a good uh, market board camper. <laughs> yeah. what, I was, what I also had to ask is, if you remove the mannequin, or, uh, or you move it to the storage or your inventory, and you place it back again, is the item still gonna be there? Because it updates the appearance uh, basically right it should do that uh, so if you put it back in your inventory no the item will no longer be displayed on the mannequin ah. it will still be in your retainers for sale list though so you can go retrieve it there okay got it so it's not like it goes into the ether forever no I wasn't talking about the item but the um after you've removed it from by your v retainer bell and it's still on display on your mannequin but you basically updated so oh, yeah, I, I think it vanishes, probably, right? It vanishes, yes, yes. Okay, okay. Makes sense. Look at you flexing with that golden pan. I, that golden <laughs> pan. I, I am gonna flex. This is actually her, her trophy for winning um, Eorzea's Top Chef or whatever. <laughs> Just mounted like on the it. wall in the kitchen. Hmm. Yeah, so this one, this has been an idea I've wanted forever, and it's... I could have done it earlier, it's just floating mannequin sucks, guys. <laughs> like, really it bad. Really does, yeah. oh, it is the worst. Especially if you already have stuff floated and you're like trying to see around thing. Well, this is what happened to me. Uh, I built this kitchen, and then I was like, hmm, I, I should try that pot thing, but where should I put it? Oh, let me put it on this wall that already has a billion things that in its loft is yeah. like, <laughs> like 20 feet off the ground. <laughs> Oh, I hate it so much. <laughs> you decorate first and you clutter up first and then you actually do the shit that requires all of this. Oh, there we can see Surly Wench. Is it Surly or Surly. Burly? Surly, I think. It's Surly. I mean, Burly is also a word. <laughs> so, so there's Surly Wench. I'm going to show you what I did. So this is, uh, this is lofted, actually. So there's the stairs. So this is not naturally sitting on the on the ground. Uh, just like Rhapsody, I put a table. So let's see if I can find it. I'm actually using that manor fireplace because I couldn't find anything in a short amount of time. And can I go? Yep, there he is. Do you see him? The black? <laughs> oh, the, oh God, there he is. The, the like, oh. There's the mannequin model. Yeah, there he <laughs> like is. Shoved in. Yeah, so I had to shove him. And the thing is, I had already built this, and so <laughs> I had to oh, move the no. walls around. Let's see if I can just move the walls here. Oh, so scary. <laughs> I don't. I, this gives me anxiety. Like looking ah! at this. All right. Do you see him now? His <laughs> arm <laughs> poking through. <laughs> there he is. Yeah. So oh there he God. is. <laughs> This is like what uh, was said on Twitter, Ashen hides the bodies in the walls. Yes. Oh my god. <laughs> so that's where he is, and oh, this was a nightmare, but you know, I wanted to do it, so I did. It's, yep, and it's so worth, because it looks amazing, and something that could easily be remedied by planning ahead, but who does that? Who plans ahead? No also, it, it vexes me, the corner a tiny bit pokes out right there and i hate it no 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 yeah no, it's cursed you, did you had to mention did you just had to mention it to us because i think we wouldn't even it? have noticed remember it's it's the sides of the pan they have they flare out uh... oh can't you no. tilt okay. okay i'm not even i did I, t I tilted it believe me div and the wall is actually tilted a tiny bit just to hide it did you change did you change the pose of a mannequin Changed the pose. I did everything. Okay. Believe me. Okay. <laughs> oh. Okay. Yeah, I, I had this yeah. issue with a few uh, weapons. Away. <laughs> also, I have. Yeah, uh, you can't see it there. And here's another use. Uh, this is something we talked about before. We've seen it in a bunch of houses too. This door is held open because of a mannequin. This is actually a door right here. Mm -hmm. That mannequin you is right, right there. And actually, very <laughs> cleverly, you cannot see the name because I have a towel right there. <laughs> Uh, oh my god. Is it your... Uh, can you repair with it? Can you click on it? Is it like a mender? It's, it's, it's too far below me. <laughs> oh, it's a mannequin because you can do the same for retainers. Yeah. Uh, 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 not like retainers, NPCs. um... Yeah, uh, the NPCs. NPCs. Yeah. yeah, but I, I totally just, do that with I just, NPCs. I just like hiding them in the walls and other items to be, be able to uh, quickly uh, repair before raid because I'm a filthy uh, non-crafter. 
Which drawers? The drawers under the books. <laughs> that one? That's just the wooden showcase. Oh, yeah. The bed. Mm -hmm. The wooden showcase. Yeah, they're cute. I had them underneath the window, but then I was like, item count. <laughs> <laughs> had to start calling. Uh, but uh, yeah. That feeling. So those Can you are. Can sit on that window seat? Can I sit where? On that window seat? In the bedroom? Like, is there a chair hidden underneath it? Oh, right here? Mm hmm. Mm, behind you. Oh my goodness, I suck at directions. Which, you mean... You mean the pillow? You mean that one? Yeah, there's a, there's a little cushion over on... An, oh. uh, it's on the top of the um, bar counter that you have floated over there. Next oh, the yeah. Or... Yeah, I used to have a chair there, but I had to cull things. So. Aww. Yeah. Yeah, I, I mean, you, the, can, you can grant it at least, so... Yeah, the, yeah. This, this was actually more involved, because I was like, oh, I want to make a cute little bench, and da-da-da-da-da, but you can tell this corner, there's like nothing here, nothing here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, I honestly couldn't because in using the disordered wardrobe, it fills it with all of the, you know, it stuff makes it look busy. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So oh well, but uh, okay. So those are two mannequins that were hidden, and this one's not even a weapon display, guys. So it doesn't have to. But but you know what? Looking through it, I was looking through a lot of pans. None of the other <laughs> none of the other pans do this. Yeah, it's just bad, but it's on the back every our pen is on the side on the hip makes me so mad also raps you just have a extra af pant did i show mm. you the wood yeah i showed you the wood it looks like loopholes i love that <laughs> it looks but like it... an actual like curtain rod up there yeah oh that looks so cute actually now that you mention it and no, you I go didn't shopping for pans more in final fantasy 14 than irl yeah <laughs> uh, i i I, I definitely craft my own pans, uh, my own utensils, and, you know, all that sort of stuff in Final Fantasy XIV, and I do so as well in real life, in my forge, yes. Mm -hmm. No shopping. Imagine crafting <laughs> hammering everything away. yourself. Ham hammer, 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 hammer. Okay, uh, did you, Div, do you have any mannequin display I can visit on Cerberus? I was just over at the Balmol uh, one. Ooh, we should no, show Xenos. Xenophan. Yeah, he's on Hyperion. One second. Oh, uh, is that the armory that he did? Yeah, and yeah. his his little armor room. Oh, yeah. what's his address? Do you remember? I'll find it. Because, I mean, this is an example of mannequins used for mannequins, right? Like, yeah. Um, but let me grab the address. Oh, I do have... I do have a FV, a large FC for the RA group. Or of the um, ultimate weapons displayed in that one room. Do you remember that? Wait, did I even show that to anyone? <laughs> uh, I don't remember that. You did. Well, I have, a, <laughs> I, I have that, and I have my um, my private where you uh, where I have a dragoon helmet. I have my wife's and my weapon displayed too in the entrance area. So we could go there if you want to. Okay, I'm gonna check out Xenos real quick since I'm here. He's on Hyperion. Sure. I think he's Lavender Beds. Uh -huh. Lavender Beds, Ward 17, Plot 46. Yeah. I'm trying to think of, um, since you can, oh, hmm. It's hard to display, like, sometimes I want to display, like, a coat on a wall, but just can't work with something like that. Because yeah. we just... Uh, I've been trying so hard to figure out a way to, like, hang, like, oh, a hat a coat. or a coat or something. That would be so um, awesome. Yeah, like, I, just, I have this mud dark. bench, and I just really want to hang something, like, literally, any piece of clothing except pants. <laughs> Pan. It's hard because, because, like, you will have to cover the limbs of it, or else it will look really weird. Yeah. Nah. And I, was, I know I was everyone's thinking... been, oh, sorry, go ahead. I think I have an idea I gotta mess around with now. Oh, okay. I think I think I think I know how to make it work. Well, I know people have been asking um, anytime you know Yoshi P has his, one of his like server walks or whatever. They're like, can we display mannequins with the weapons unsheathed, or can we have an actual weapon display where it is a an actual furniture item that's not a mannequin that you can just display a weapon on 
the same way it would be on the back. And he's like, well, it is a little odd the way that the the weapons, you know, actually like connect to the character on the back. But I remember him yeah. saying that they were, he, they were going to look into it to see if that was possible. And I don't see why it wouldn't be. If you can put it on the back of a mannequin, why can't you put it on a frame, you know? I think it, because like, once... <laughs> Once a player sh uh, sheaves the weapon, basically, it changes its state, basically, and so use that state. It's it's. I think it. <laughs> I, I, I think mean, there's I'm more clearly oversimplifying <laughs> it because I am not a game dev. So yeah. oh yeah, here's Xenothen's um, armory room. Oh look mm -hmm. at the really great use of the hunting supplies in the ward. Yeah, I really like it too. It's very simple. Like it's not overly. Very, it doesn't consume many items slots. I like it a lot. It's simple, but it it makes a huge impact because mm -hmm. you walk in and you're like, oh, wow. Like, the weapons on display on the wall are so, like, neat and perfectly aligned. And, like, they're they're just, how do I say, they're equidistant from each other. <laughs> oh, yeah. my God. It's just oh. it's very well done. I just... Yeah, I really like it. It's it's like I've seen this build around for like I've seen so many pictures of this build because this dude updates his armory a lot. <laughs> well, <laughs> so people seen... just love it because it's so well done. Hmm. Obviously, it really is. Well, check this out. Look how clever he is hiding the name with the low overhang. Yeah. yeah, that's yeah. big brain. I really dig that. I would love love to see something above though because it's very empty in my opinion. So, so... having imagine like something like, like a name. That'd oh, be cool. yeah, like a, like a backwards name. Like a placard, <laughs> yeah. Ooh, yeah. hey, remember that placard that you were like, what is this? <laughs> that uh, storm Oh my god, bench? yeah. That took us forever to figure that out. I think I think it couldn't, well... I mean, it would take a lot, it would take a lot of items. It would take a lot of the partition yeah. stuff. Actually, now I remember, um, do you remember that little shrine I did? Better use the Heart of, uh, Heart of Fallen shield, shield too. I actually still have it. <gasps> Hello, mannequins. Oh god, Rose. I yeah, like that's this how you lot. get the big weapons. You gotta use the Rose. Yeah. I mean, I that's like that's really legitimately something to think about. Um, I usually tend to use male and female Rogadin mannequins the most because I, Same. you know, houses in Final Fantasy are so big and you need to fill up so much space, even when you're cutting down space. And the little Lalafo mannequins are great when you need to hide something quickly, but they make the gear look really small. If they really you know? do. It's it's just... Honestly, I think the reason, like, the only options for mannequins that make sense are Rose and Lalafels. Lalafels for helmets and stuff like that, maybe, if you want them, if you can't float them, like, for example, if you have them in a basement or something, right? Um, or, I but... mean, or unless you just are very committed to Mikote. Yeah, I, I, I just want to hear us, honestly, because they have the, right, that, like, it's the base size for everything, so. Mm -hmm. I just don't I mean, get why they don't do those. those first. <laughs> yeah, that was interesting. That was an interesting choice. Oh, yes. Mm. DJ, the master. The hat. Just the I hat really like that. And the, just everything about that. Just the hat, the, the one pair of shoes that's showing from, you know, next to the bed and the bags. It's just like someone just got home, kicked off their shoes, took off their hat, set down their bags, and they're ready, ready to unwind for the night, right? Yeah. Yeah. I dig it a lot. Yeah, that's a lot of film. Yes, the name's still visible. The name's visible, yes. Mm -hmm. But it, it wouldn't really matter whether it was a Lalafell or a Rogadin at this point because he floated it through the floor. Oh yeah, right, it's on the second floor as mid, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Correct, then. I think it's just easier because sometimes there are some helms, for example, like the Dragoon Helm, where you will have those uh, pointy ears, for example, sticking out if you use mm -hmm. a Lalafell. Yep. I also love using um, the females. I want to mention so like the male rose because um, some hair. I think the Mikote hairstyle has like little spikes in the back. So if you like try to float it through a wall, it will stick out unless you give them like the um, uh, the little ca you know that level one cap, the level yeah. cap or something. <laughs> uh, the um, well, I won't say that. Never mind, just the helm that I, I, covers. I wanted to say yep. it to Rhapsody, but I hold back. <laughs> <laughs> yep. 
<laughs> yeah, I agree. I like using the Rukden ones uh, because also their posture, the way they stand when you choose some of their stances, it makes the weapon <laughs> go out further so you can hide more yeah. of the body. Yeah. Well, and they have a, their, their <laughs> posture's more just straight, whereas like male Mikote are like so hunchy. They are. Yeah, they're... they really are. Stand up straight. <laughs> it just, I mean, anytime I look at how a male Mikote like idol poses, I'm like, what are you, an orc? Like you just, you can't even <laughs> just, so... just put uh, your shoulders back. At least it's not a, a fucking uh, rough guy because it's a <laughs> Bleep. Yeah, the Hrothgar, uh, gosh, I mean, I mean, I've mean, i got so much history in WoW that, like, orcs, trolls, I, I'm just like, will you guys just, just, just stand straight up, put the board on your back, like, just <laughs> go to posture school, <laughs> I see, use okay, so sword. I see a lot of mannequins used, you know, in the actual proper way that they were meant to be used, the display of armor for, for, uh, what's the word? Flex. Yeah. Flex. <laughs> Flexing on people. Like, these are Ukab and Uwu weapons. Uwu. Uwu. This person, this person is very proud of their accomplishments as a tank. They've got Dark, Warrior, and Pal. And I like that. I like that you walk into the house and it says a lot about that person right there. I know that they are a high end raider and they play tank. Very cool. Yeah. It I also mean depends on choice i for my in my opinion in having it on the wall itself with like a role model would be much better because the item is like behind an actual mannequin so it's not as prominent as it would could be basically yes i i personally agree with that this way at least they're showing their favorite gear sets too but if you're really looking to flex with it as a trophy more than a display i really like the impact of using it with the mannequin behind the wall and the weapon on the wall. Thank you for the follow, Cornballus. Cornballus. Thank you so much. Cornballus. Like Cornballus. <laughs> I think it's supposed, like Cornwallis, but with a B. Cornballus. Anyway, sorry. I got distracted really easily, apparently. Uh, I have yeah. almost the exact same setup, actually, with a red wall and the U-Cup weapon, because it, like the yellow goes so well with like this royal red. The Dalmond yeah. red, I think, is it? Yeah. It goes so yeah, well. Yeah, I mean... To me, this screams male, because <laughs> my, my husband's the same way. He wants his weapons displayed on a Dalamud rep. I think, I, think I, I, don't, I don't think so much for the U weapons, but uh, definitely <laughs> okay. for the cup. I, I don't know, it's just I'm gonna make you put two dollars in the jar every time you say ooh. Okay, for that too, is that a curse word now? <laughs> Only to me. Well, uh, actually, isn't, isn't that red uh, something you brought up the other day? You were asking, uh, what is this display box called? And it always has the red velvet. Is that the same effect they're going for? Yeah, think? this is. I think this is the same. Like, you, uh, there's this, I forgot the name of it already. Block something box? I think someone, it was it you that uh, helped me there? What? what, what I, I don't remember. You, you know, those typical, very American, um, Dis those, uh, oh yeah, displays. yes, our, our typical displays cushion. of weapons in our houses as Americans. Yeah. I mean, yeah. <laughs> gun safe? No, no, it's no. like, it's like, it's like this wooden, wooden, um, not wooden, but it has like a wooden frame, it has it's the like glass a, thingy. Like a shadow box, it's, it's like a Skyrim lockbox, I don't know. It has like a back cushion background with a weapon in it, you can't... Oh, oh face says velvet lined. Uh, it's just called the display case. Oh yeah, velvet line display case. This is what it's called. Thank you. <laughs> it has a specific name. Like this is very specific. Hang on, let me. I'm gonna link. So, the so you, it it just reminds you of that red velvet lined look. Is yeah. What you're Exactly. Yeah. Gotcha. But you know, red totally red, red is like the go-to anytime I see a weapon display wall. Why is that? I'm telling you, it's dudes. <laughs> It's the, I think, I think it's the, con honestly, I think it's the contrast, because, um... I think it is because red is the color of war? Listen, <laughs> I'm not making the rules, it's the, the dude's making the rules. He goes, I'm not making the rules. Yeah, see, Faye, I'm the same way. I like it against a black, dark blue, 
depends on the on the weapon really like i like the um the what are they called the castra mabania weapons those pink flowery yeah. ones with the white i like those against like a celeste green but I, yeah i, I, I swear said, it's I just think... because red is the color of of aggression and war as i said i think it, for the ukop weapons is just something specific because they're like this glowing yellow mm, and okay. looks very good with it yeah for okay other this is the one that i remember seeing in that tumblr post that div wrote and ashen proofread and ashen shared it in fd like so long ago when mannequins like first came out and i was like what how what? i love the that gun dis what is like, it's it a resolution like uh, I, I had to I had to stretch it. <laughs> Div, you keep giving me stuff that's like like 400 pixels. It's, it's Tumblr. <laughs> Tumblr is resizing it. I'm sorry. Sorry for falling into. Uh, sorry for interrupting you, Repsy. <laughs> just pissed me off. How, how is that, how <laughs> what is is that resolution though? For real? <laughs> no, but it, it looks like like it actually looks like a little place where you would tinker with and you know clean the guns and take it apart on that desk. You know what I mean? Like that's what. It looks uh, like. It's a prototype. I was going for when I messed around with it, I was like just putting stuff on the wall because in, in this one, in this specific picture, again, Mikote uh, body, you can even see the little ha white hair sticking out of uh, the right gun on the handle. Oh, I see it. Oh, is that what that is? <laughs> yeah, yeah, basically, but you can't, uh, like, you can't the tell, right? Th so thanks to the resolution, it just looks like yeah. a gun. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, you guys, quit, quit <laughs> shitting on the pixel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so yeah, I have... <laughs> I had to hide the tail with a table, sadly, and it kind of looked like it was hanging from the goldsmith table, so I like... Div, God. do you have a higher resolution? Because you gave me one that was so small. <laughs> I'm just dying. I need... I'm screenshotting thing. Is there a gun in that picture? Which pixel is it? <laughs> I think it's like... I think the resolution is like 500 times something because it's like very, very low. I, listen, Tumblr is really shitty when it comes to the... Is when you make long posts, it's gonna tell you, oh, dude, you go. Do you have? Yeah. Do you have the original or no? No, this is like from a year ago. So I had I had a new computer and I reset all of my screenshots since then. So I'm sorry. <gasps> I put everything on my drive. I'm so paranoid. Yeah, sometimes you just wanna I'm just, a uh, have a fresh start. Yeah, not keeping originals. Jesus. I tore this down a second after I screenshot it, so I'm not keeping anything. <laughs> Div is... That is in the past. Let us talk about the now. <laughs> oh, uh, God. I have, I have a... As I said, I have a few things still on servers if you want to come over. Like, I have the... Um, yeah. Sh I have a shield. I have the... I have the weapons in Zenner's house. You have... You want is it. your shrine still in your office? It, it is. It, uh, everything around the office is torn down and built up anew, but the shrine itself is still there. <laughs> nice. So it's basically like the office is half torn apart. There's like r random stuff everywhere. Some uh, A lot of floating stuff. Okay, I'm logging over. So mm -hmm. we can check this out. Hopefully it'll be bright. <laughs> oh, I can, I can turn up brightness if necessary. It's on one, should be enough. <laughs> oh, okay. Wow. <laughs> All the way up to one, this guy is really... <laughs> really giving uh, us his all. Hey, listen. <laughs> gotta have an atmosphere. I got it. Now that I'm down here, it's like yeah. super weird because everything is gone except this wall my, and there's stuff on My atmosphere on is visible. <laughs> Are you sure about that? Visible or blinding? Either of those. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> blinding is just a lot of a lot of everything. Just a lot of yeah. emotion. Lots of light. But I kind of moved on from like this very very dark because I just can't see anything myself at this point. Except when I'm using the alpine chandelier. I'm not. Gonna, I'm not gonna even gonna turn up turn up the light one because. I, <laughs> I really don't like this red stench in my builds. Stench. If it's not, if st is it, it? Oh fuck! What is it? Stench it means stench. Stink. Yeah, sorry. It, I mean, I, I just well, assumed wait, you what hated it, mean, it that much. Stench means it smells bad. Oh, same thing. Dividus confirmed. Warrior of darkness says now she. 
Yeah, basically. This is my aesthetic. Alright, uh, where are you? Can I just go to your house first? Yeah. Oh, uh, you gotta glitch through the wall. That's okay. <laughs> this is just becoming a standard for us. Everyone's <laughs> like, can we come visit this build? Well, you'll have to run through a wall! Yeah, it's- I blocked off the rest to, um, do some work in progress things at the moment. Because Ashen's been saying that about the writer's retreat. And Fang asked me about <laughs> yeah. that, uh, like, Rollinberry Red Room that I was building, and I was like, there's no door. <laughs> oh, oh my goodness, what is this? Don't Ooh. pay too much attention to that. Oh, this, I, I is, not... this is hot. <laughs> this is, this is, uh, the reason the house is closed off is because... Yeah. Is Are you roleplayed in here? <laughs> ...come to, come yeah, to unwind. <laughs> I'm just, yeah, it's just work in progress after I just mess around with the marble walls, the walls for the first time, so I'm trying Ooh, to get a feeling for it. Look at your outfit. Yeah. Oh, dapper. I... Dapper. Oh, wow. Are you, like, what are you doing? <laughs> are we the baddies? Welcome to Germany. Okay, let's go to this. Oh, okay. all right. Oh, what is this texture right glitching right here? Listen, oh, you don't see it upstairs, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> Oh, okay. Yeah, so, anyways. Confusing. Div has clothes on. Oh, yeah, right! What? Uh, you're right, actually. So Hang here's on. The... No, oh, is... the shield is so good! Sorry, I'm spinning my camera so much. Yep, here's the shield. <laughs> oh, look, you even put hot chocolate next to it! Oh! Yeah. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, <It's>... no! <laughs> yep. You fiend! That's so it's, cute! It's... I don't even. I think it's the Alpine Platter. I'm not sure. I just like when there's something animated. It's a hot chocolate. Wait, did you Wait, never you... notice no, it? No, I never. It's so dark it's in not... your pictures, Div. Oh my god. <laughs> Wait, Where's the. Yeah, but. Did you, didn't you have a helmet somewhere? The helmet is over in Balmog, right? Isn't it? Oh, no, no. That's, oh. that's in Zenner's house. It's just down the road from this place. We can go over okay. to now, oh, too. Yeah. Anything else in here, or just that? Wow, this is cute. I'm no. gonna take a picture of this later. Okay, well, it's, uh, you can do it later if you want to. Just gotta glitch through the walls again. I can't wait to actually finish this because I have... I, I just wanted to have, like, a very small space for a bathing area. Hmm. What's that chair doing there? Yeah, it's just like, uh, in the corner. Uh, is that the timeout chair? <laughs> no, no, the, so. you know, when I, like, place everything down wherever to just have there to... Like, be ready for it next, uh, time I decorate. So we're just forget. throwing it to one corner, yeah. <laughs> we're just, um, where I go, oh yeah, this might be useful. I actually have one of those corners in the build I'm working on right now. Oh my god, see? This is how I you did. work. <laughs> yeah, I, well, because otherwise I'll forget. I'm like, I need to use this later. I, I know what yeah. it'll be if I just set it right here, but if it's in my bags or in storage, I'll totally forget about it. <laughs> I'm sorry, Laurent. Yeah, the office is, is going to go. It's goners. Yeah, Especially actually, because I have to rent on. Okay, the so time. this is the one I went to because I. Whoa, let's check this out. Speaking of mannequins. Yeah, this is the one thing I was talking about. It was basically the Dragoon Dark Knight. Uh, Dragoon and Dark Knight artifact weapons displayed for, like, in character for me and my wife's characters. <laughs> That's so cute. You grab them on the way out the door. Yeah, basically, like, you come uh -huh. in and you can just place them. I love really that. Fun. That's so great. Like, you, you you hear the call and you're like, just grab it by the hilt and run. <laughs> oh my god, yeah. I mean, where else are you gonna start, basically? It's heavy. Under your Under pillow. My... I mean, yeah, it makes <laughs> sense. For, especially darkness. Or, okay, here's the other yeah. thingy. Your seam. Dragoon helmet that I Oh, used. there's the chicken. The chicken. Hey, can, the you, chicken. can you diet real quick? Yeah, diet like... Oh uh, no, I'd have to go into my retainer. I, I already equipped, like, un unequipped it already, just like Rhapsody said. Oh, so okay. I, I, so what you're saying it is it's already in your inventory and you can diet right now? No. <laughs> I don't have any diet, so this is metallic, and I can't afford that. Yeah, hey, but, yeah but the low. Why are you... The memes, Div. Do it for the memes. I don't have any inventory space. Oh, and <laughs> I love this. Oh, you, oh, you mean the for the chicken? Sorry. Huh? 
This is, uh, this is built in. <laughs> well, I, I've been here before, but you updated. You added some things. Oh, yeah, I'm I sorry, I'm spinning so much. Yeah. <laughs> God, this looks so different in your game. It's because I have yeah. a really bright so reshade on. Says if you had crafters, you could afford dyes. Imagine crafting. My wife does everything for Oh, oh gosh. Lord. Is she a sugar mommy? <laughs> yeah, basically. I'm working on it, okay? I'm doing my what? best. <laughs> I love this build. It's so cozy. Yeah, I came here when you first put your house up on that, what, what was that, contest last year? I didn't even know you that well, and I was like, I'm gonna stalk him. Oh yeah, the interior design contest! Yeah. Oh right, where I changed a single item and, and they were like, oh, you're disqualified. Well, well others, no. Well, like, completely changed their entire house. See, I don't understand, because I changed my house completely, and I still got it, but <laughs> other people, they, some people won multiple times, I don't think they were fact-checking anything. Skull Fishy asks, what's the address for this? Oh, yeah. Um, Here, uh, let me it put is. it on screen. Hold on. Oh, thank you for the follow, Gumi doll. Thank you so much for the follow, Gumi. It's plot 23, word 11, and Lavender Beds on Cerberus Chaos. Oh, wow. Thank you Thanks for the follow, Kevin. Yeah. He's faster than you. Immersive experience. I have not added nothing else but that. What? Okay. Add a designer home. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't think those options have been. Oh, have there's there's designer home quite, and not... message book. You can at least add yeah. those. I think I have a house with all ultimate weapons displayed. Um. Oh oh oh! Speaking of the the tags, I saw one recently that seemed new to me. It was like Eastern or something like that. Is that a new tag? Eastern? They added a Hang couple. On. Let's see. Hang on, let me see. Let's see what the tags are. State settings. So we have Emporium, Boutique, Designer Home, Message Book, Tavern, Eatery, Immersive Experience, Aquarium, Sanctum, Cafe, Florist, Library, a What is at Atelier? Atelier. I, I don't know how to say that. Sure. Bathhouse, Garden, Venue, Photo Studio, studio Haunted House, and Far <gasps> East. Yeah, that's a cool. I like the, t the new tags. That's and cool. they're really feeding into the Asian market. I what would is, be haunted what house. Atelier. Atelier. <laughs> a, a, atelier? It's, it's a. Atelier. It's like a French. It's. It's where you draw pictures, where you uh, paint. Yeah, it's very popular in Japan. It's where you draw pictures and. It's a. It's what? a studio. It's yeah, art, work, art, studio. art workshop. Studio. Oh, okay. Okay. Art studio. Got it. That's cool. Like an easel and stuff like that. You should put haunted Rebel. house for yours, Dev. For well, you, me, you're the other one. Texas. <laughs> I really want to do haunted house again, honestly. I oh my goodness, it is the season. It is the season for haunted house. Oh yeah, right. Oh that. Oh god, I. It yeah, is time. Uh, it is time. I'm gonna snack those pumpkin heads. <laughs> yes. I'm, I'm like trying to. You remember what happened to your abundant abandoned house by way Ashen? My what? The haunted the abandoned, house. No, the abandoned house. The one the where we where we uh, where we messed around with with uh, broken floor planks and stuff like that. Oh yeah, I was supposed to do that. You think I should do that for Halloween? Because my house is gonna be empty think, for a while. Oh uh, well, when I say that, do you, I mean you? Do you want to do that in my house? <laughs> do you want to do that? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, yeah, sure. I, I mean, I mean, I've started with it at some point, anyways, right in your house. So yeah, so that that's a great idea. Why don't you come over, do a haunted little house thing, make it cool, and we'll do have a party. Do, do you want me to do live actually? Uh, that could be something we can do on yeah on a Saturday. You do it fast too. You're a lot faster than me in raps. I only do it like that because I can't do it any other way. What do you guys think? Wouldn't you like to see Div build live and see his crazy brain go to work? It is awesome to watch. It really is. It's a sight to see. It is fantastic. Honestly, I think if Div can put together a haunted house and we'll host a Halloween event there, that would be amazing. Yeah. I actually do hosted, I like, when I first, like, started out of a game and I got, like, into a group of of friends who are peed in this game. 
we de I decorated a apartment for like a Halloween stage and stuff like that, right? And people could show their costumes. It was really fun, but also very, very weird and awkward because people were very shy to talk and stuff like that. They opened up Aww. very later, and it was like I tried to like get them to talk, but it was really awkward, and I felt very uncomfortable. <laughs> See, I remember going uh, seeing Ashen's haunted house and how like she had someone with the crafter or the carpenter saw like sawing open someone on yeah. a medical table and something it was so in it was so involved it I was, was like, crazy oh God, was there was so many people inside the house and people were just glitching in and out and this was inside of a large <laughs> it was nuts oh my goodness that was so cool everyone was in costume it was really neat yeah. And that'll be so much better. Oh my gosh, it's going to be amazing that you can uh, data center travel now. So it's not just like on your server only. Hmm. Hey, where'd you go? I'm, I'm supposed to go I'm, somewhere. Yeah, I'm logging to the character, which is um, which is in the FC that I decorated with the ultimate weapon. Can you invite me to that? I can't. It's, um, it's, it was a commission. Okay. So I I don't even know if I'm still in VFC. I am. <laughs> it's um Is it somewhere it is. she can go? Yeah, it's plot twenty three. Wait no. Hang on. Let me see. Is it LB? Yeah, it is LB. One second, I just gotta check where exactly it is. Um I just don't remember it. I'm sorry, I'm taking a... Uh, I need a minute here. No problem. But um, yeah, I think a Halloween build... Uh, I mean, I say Halloween, but we're not going to do it that close to Halloween. Because I still have to remodel my house, y'all. Oh my god, <laughs> right. Yeah. I mean... I know for sure if everyone wants to start making plans... Uh, okay. Little Birdie told me that there will be an FD contest for Haunted Houses, so... Ooh. Ooh. Get those builds um, ready. It is plot 58, uh, and ward 5. And Lavender Bats, too. Alright. <laughs> the description... <laughs> the name of the box fame. The Ke Kevin... Is no and the Kevin greeting is Arima called No Great Merciless. It is still September. And oh, yeah. you know what I say, Kevin? I say Halloween is the only thing holding me back from Christmas. So at least be grateful that it's Halloween that I'm gushing <laughs> about. Oh, speaking of, guess what my retainer just brought me, Div? An alpine chandelier. Burn it. <laughs> it's already burning. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, so is this the, the greeting you were talking about, Dev? Hmm? No, no <laughs> great parsers? Yeah. Hall of Fame! <laughs> Ashen, Ashen, I don't know if you have any parsers, but you're not allowed to World of Warcraft, maybe. I've, I've, have... I've got some parsers, alright? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is like a very, very basic house for a commission. Like, it's nothing crazy, it's very simple. And I did this a while ago, and I'm very not happy with it, I'm gonna be honest. Whoa. Oh, okay, here we go. It's just oh. about this part here, yeah. Ah, that does... Yes, the Ukop weapons do look very good against that red. Hmm. They pop. Oh, you look like yeah. Frey. I am Frey. I oh, sorry, am sorry. <laughs> <laughs> look at the name, the weep name, and the <laughs> that it's just it's just Frey. <laughs> Excellent. But yeah, that's, that's basically what I meant with like having it against the background. Don't look at any other part of the build, please. Let's it's go look not... at the rest of the build. So let's see. No, uh, they didn't. The alone they didn't add right any here. picture. Yeah, yeah, Kevin, there is no feature to hang weapons. Those are mannequins back there. Look at this water. Why don't, why don't you put this water display in the current contest, Div? That is a cute fountain. Maybe I have something else for the contest. Who knows? Oh, ah, says he. I actually thought of this today. I would just want the bath there. <laughs> so I'll just put, basically, we'll do that. Do you guys remember how people would abuse so many windows? Yeah, this person wanted all of the windows. I hate this so much. 
Okay, so the only thing <laughs> I, I like this about is... this build is that part in the middle. Well, because it was so hard to do with this. This is a fantastic example of learning to cater to the customer's needs, uh, even though they don't suit your own tastes. Yeah, I don't. Um, I still. Yeah, I think it's because um, this is the house that made me hate commissions. This is why um, it, <laughs> I was I was stripped of all of my creative. Oh um, no, no, leave this. Room. I didn't do this. Leave I didn't this do this. Room. Room. Nope, I know this is not Div's creative. Yeah, Sorry, I, it's, it's funny that we could tell right away. <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah. So nope, okay, nope. I'm just gonna. Nope, can I talk nope, about this because I really nope. wanna? I really nope. wanna get this out. Look at this really cursed. <laughs> We're not talking about it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, also Acilia is Faye, but oh, look at that texture glitching. Um, yeah. No, we can, we can, nope. You can talk about it in FD later when we are not on HDX okay. time. <laughs> okay, okay, I will. So basically, this is a great example of, as Ashen said, catering to the customer's needs, trying to fulfill their dreams, but in while doing so, you're completely stripping all of what makes your builds interesting, of what they really are. <laughs> He doesn't sound salty at all. I'm I'm so angry at this house. I. I'm but sorry. it looks. Here's the thing, though, Div. <sighs> no. I I know your style, and I can see elements of your style in this, and yet I understand completely that you were your hands were tied by what your client wanted, and that's okay because they got a house that they liked and. Hopefully you walked away with a commission <laughs> and, mm. you know, that's, if that teaches you that, you know, maybe commissions are not really your speed, that's okay. It's a good thing that you learned that um, because the rest of the housing community really appreciates all of your creative energy spent on just <laughs> I I innovating and playing with things. Like, because we just, we love to see what you just make when you're throwing stuff down and, and, uh, if you weren't on Cerberus, I'd give you an allowance so that you wouldn't oh have to take God. commissions. Uh, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> like legitimately, yeah. like. Yeah. Uh, so basically, I I appreciate that a lot, guys. Like honestly, like I really like sharing stuff and um having an outlet to show to show what I can do off basically. But um, it's just like I if even for other people. Do commissions. If you notice that you are not happy where things are going because of a customer, um, sometimes just finish it and learn from that experience because that's gonna actually help you grow a lot. Because yeah. this really showed me a lot in terms of the limitations of the game and the limitations that people can set you and what right. you are creatively uh, capable of is not always gonna be what the final result is gonna look like and, mm -hmm. and this is what I noticed and which caused me to stop actually doing commissions because I I what I actually at this point I only do things for friends if I, they let me go full out and I will just do it for free right but if I have something like that where I'm just so unhappy with the end result I'm gonna use it as the thing to grow but I'm not gonna show it off or something like that because it's not me that's just basically what it comes down to. It's not me and I don't want to have something in my portfolio that doesn't reflect what I'm capable of. Well, yeah. that's the thing. Your portfolio is supposed to be a reflection of what you're capable of doing. Like, your, mm -hmm. your, your portfolio does not have to include every single piece of art that you've ever created. Your portfolio want, has to have the ones that show the most of what you, what you can do. So... You don't always have to put something in your portfolio if you're not happy with it. Like, if the client's happy with it, perfect. Great. Let them be happy. That you, you can be proud that you made them a house that they enjoy. And that's it. That's all you need to do. <laughs> it doesn't have yeah. to go in your on your Tumblr. or uh, You don't have to post it on Twitter. It doesn't have to go into your Discord. That's okay. Yeah. So let's leave this scott in place because I really <laughs> can't stand it anymore. <laughs> oh, no. uh, one in the jar. All uh, right. All right, well, you know, it's time for the walkthrough anyways, uh, once it gets to morning. So we have a little bit of time to kill. Is there any other houses here, Div, with the mannequin? Um, I or or you, Rhapsody? I 
don't think I currently have any that you haven't shown in screenshot. Does BJ, does BJ, uh, BJ have any in his current house? Yeah, actually, I do have one oh, parked he outside. Time. He has yeah. a, a hat, the cowboy hat, so we can yeah, sure. check that out. Sure. Also, Akra, I, this, I really like how you found that. It's so good. You, like, he, uh, she he said, I've decided to not do, the uh, not do the commissions that I feel can't reflect me as a decorating artist. It is making me a lot more happy. And I can only say like that. Also, Ray, I wanted to tell you this. Um, do you know May? Maynath? Um... What is her name? Uh, Nurni in game, I think. So she was like, "Oh yeah, you've been, you've been uh, at our house." Well, because we raided with her, and she's like a friend of a static static member, and we did a Titan with her. And she was like, "Oh yeah, you visited our house." I was like, "Which house was it?" Did I? <laughs> <laughs> because oh, I couldn't tell. <laughs> that's a, yeah. Is it Nurni? The, the house that I took pictures of, right? That it's it's the it's the with the balconies. This is the big one. So oh, that's the FC house. Yeah, that's this is the one she was talking about. She said library, and I was a bit confused because I didn't see it as a library. It confused me at the beginning. Oh, okay. Yeah, look at that cowboy hat. That's so cute. Very good. I do. I do. What? I do craze? Edo craze? I don't know. Yeah. He likes cowboy hats, doesn't he? <laughs> yeah, he really does. I really like that though. Oh my goodness. Vesuvianite, also known as Edo Crace, is a green, brown, yellow, or blue silicate material. It's like a what? gemstone. Oh, okay. Wow. There's, there's layers to BJ. Hmm. <laughs> Rai says she made the immediate joke dang, he's so toxic. <laughs> uh, Which I it really was. Toxic I was frustrated. Mm -hmm. And I fell too, so it was so much worse. <laughs> but yeah, also can we point out the um that he hid the blue thingies of his sculptures inside the uh, bookshelf because I hate those so much and this looks that so good. The blue bases of the miniatures are the worst. Yeah. Oh wait, right here, yeah. Yeah, that's very I smart. <laughs> I love the little, um, oh, what's it called? The Sabatender trophy thing that has the little crystal ball. I love that thing. It's... Wait, that's the, oh, I thought that was the Serio thingy. I forgot that it was, um, the Sabatender, actually. Mm -hmm. I love it. Now, I want to point yeah. out something I saw last time. I was here just the other day. Look at this ward. It makes me so jealous. Now, it makes me wonder, like, why <laughs> JP doesn't care about housing. And why they don't think we have a housing crisis? Because look at this. Yeah, this is ridiculous. <laughs> and I hate this so empty, much. Empty, empty, empty. Have you seen Spring actually? Because there's like also. Oh, the that that right just now. opened up and it's FC only. Yeah, no. Spring just oh, you opened can't. up. Oh, is is it FC only still? I yeah. thought that. Okay, never mind then. The the checker. Okay, so. Uh, Kevin, if you ever get a chance to make a character on Durandal and go to the Goblet to check out BJ's houses, he is just a, a mastermind of layering. Hey, it's that thick cactus. <laughs> yeah, I was supposed to say that. <laughs> it, he is a mastermind of layering white rectangular partitions and hanging sideboards and hanging bookshelves and like just anything that has a line to it. He will find a way to turn it into something mind-blowing. It really is true, because it's so weird how he does how he go, went on about this when he first did it. Because people were really, uh, they didn't feel, they couldn't really understand what he did. Well, because it, it's very hard to wrap your mind around it unless you've done yep. it. Because all he's doing is just moving partitions a single pixel. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah. Oh, there's the head. Yeah, this entire house is just BJ. Okay, so when yeah. they added collision to the white rectangular partitions, um, I think that happened at Shadowbringers, actually. Um, my windows that I had looking like this broke because the Wait, edges, what? the windows in my FC house, they, they snapped forward to the edge of the white rectangular partition. 
which was the trim. Like, you see how he has the ones going vertically? Um, mm -hmm. And I was like, what the heck? How come BJ's still work? It's because his are always backwards. Oh, he oh but that prevents yeah. it from shining. It prevents the sunbeams, but it keeps them from snapping to anything that you don't want them to snap to. Oh, so you have to make somewhat of a compliment. Yes! Fang, oh. see? Yeah, the windows broke because of the collision on the white rectangular partitions. If you put the windows backwards, so they won't snap to anything because they're too far away from the other edge. What do you mean by they added, like, com uh, collision and shadow bringers? Because that's like... The white rectangular partition, your camera always went through it. Yeah, I remember? remember? No. Yeah, uh, it was a huge problem. <laughs> it was it it was treated just like a bookshelf. Your camera goes right yeah. through. It. Oh, I didn't I didn't actually know that. Maybe because I was avoiding them at any cost. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yes, lore. The daylight, the sunbeams won't come through the side that's showing. They'll go out the back side, but at least you'll still have the clean line look that you want. Uh, I was gonna show this humidifier he did, which I love. Yeah, yes! I really like. Took me a while to. I didn't know what a humidifier was in the very beginning, so I was like, is this like, supposed to be like a teapot or something? No, with, like, it's so cute. <laughs> it's like a diffuser. Yeah. That it's the top cute. of the like alchemy thing, right? Alchemy, the, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the yeah, it's alchemy. housing uh, thing that gives you CP to your. You know, whatever crafter. Crafting oh, station. Yeah, awesome. crafting station. Thank you. That's what it's called. Uh, let's see. We can do another one. I'm waiting till morning till we can go to the other one <laughs> to our walkthrough request. Uh, oh yeah, let me log All right. the Goblin, real quick. Let's go uh, what? Where, like... where are we going? In go it is. Bleh, it's on our walkthrough request. Uh, it's right before phase. Unfortunately, I completely skipped it last weekend. Even though I had a character parked outside there. We were, I mean, we were basically done last time, so. Right before phase, huh? It's gosh darn or something like that. Oh, <laughs> dang it. <laughs> it is, it is dang it. <laughs> oh my God. Gosh darn, what a. I... Well, I forgot about this one. <laughs> oh, this one. Yes, Mondrian. Oh, that really messed with people's minds on Twitter. This was the first time people saw this fireplace, and they were like, "Oh my god!" <laughs> yeah, people like really wanted it. Man, the the shelf really got me too because I really think before the little shelf with the uh, the sideways it's, uh, oriental one. The hanging open bookshelf. The... Oh yeah, the hanging open bookcase. Okay, where? With, it's just uh, behind that plant. A the hanging oh, 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 that, yeah. I like the how problem is there's this. a delay on the stream, so we're like, turn around, and you're like, already <laughs> turned. <laughs> <laughs> I like how he does the little windows here. He does this very often in his, especially behind a bed. Have you noticed that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. He really likes that. I'm wondering and what he he's his little getting wine by. trays, too. Mm-hmm. I wonder what he's getting like inspired by because he told me that he's getting a lot of inspiration from uh, modern modern European designs, mm -hmm. but it's still very very unique. Like it really is just something that only BJ can pull off. Yeah, like those are sideboards up there. That's crazy. I yeah. know, right? Just... Well, and I loved so. Um, Amara and I had interviewed him at one point, and he was saying that, like, after doing this room, he became convinced that he could go even further with yeah. the wall detail and, like, go beyond. Because you can see each of those, each of those lines is the full width of a white rectangular partition, but he, in the one that we were just in with that white cowboy hat, the lines are so much thinner because he's using different things and he's like layering things with smaller increments and it's just oh so big brain too big brain for me mm -hmm. he has a lot of patience my god yes. yeah i i w last time i uh visited him because uh, sometimes i just visit to talk to him and it was wife because they're like so so nice they like just like to talk with you and to see the cultural things between uh japan uh, and yes. europe or germany 
especially because I'm German, they really like. Yeah, it feels like. Because, but also for Japanese people in general, they just really like Germans. <laughs> um, and <laughs> okay, we kind we kind of talked about like random things, and he mentioned that I asked about the time frame he's working in, right? And he said that he in his last build. He had um, holidays like for two weeks, and he spent like eight hours a day working on stuff. <laughs> wow. wow! For two weeks, and he was like, "Yeah, we just shut ourselves in and we just did our things." <laughs> hey, you know this? This is interesting. This hat used to have a red portion. The red in it. one. Yeah. Did it snap because of the storm flood oh. thing? Oh, oh no! Did it snap? Uh, Can it's, you it's go gone. behind it? Mm, it it's I gone. Think, oh, no. I don't think it did because... He, I think he made some changes because the little um, crystal ball that was in that most recent build, he took it off of the table in, in the sitting area here. Yeah, he did because it, there were lights back there in the red poster. Mm -hmm. There oh, were okay. the red poster and that crystal ball was on the table because I remember asking him what it was when I was there <laughs> and uh, yeah now it's in that other build so he's definitely been there and updated it and you know stolen some things for other builds oh this is cute you, Look at he that. doesn't just leave them alone yeah oh god I really like how he's using the, ta the tables and shelves there especially the, the, the little the couple boxes showing of the doll display yeah, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to uh, remember this specific one because if you turn it around, it will have the uh, me this metal kind of uh, uh, frame, right? It looks like just storage boxes, and I really like that for like random storage parts. I'm gonna remember mm. it. I store I I saved like thirty of them in my retainers just in case I will need them because back then I was like, oh god, this is gonna be great for stairs. I'm gonna save so much of. Should have done that for the summon, but. Alright, gonna log over at Goblin, get ready, but yeah, I actually I think this is one of my favorite ones, because I just, I like dark wood and stuff like this. Mm. Same. I love but the I think... plant display there, because it just reminds me of like an actual, like, you know those, those little, like, bikes? Like, it's a little bike, but it has the two spots for you to put a potted plant in it, that's what that reminds yeah, me of. Yeah, I know this one, I know what you mean. It's so, so cute. cute. So we are going to Lavender Beds Ward 9, Plot 52. Does that sound right? I can double check, hold on. Gosh darn. Yeah, Ward 9, Plot 52. Oh, she, sorry, I was calling, <laughs> calling them a boy, I'm sorry. Izzy Kaya. Izakaya? Am I saying that right? Like the Izakaya upstairs. What does that mean? I don't know. Let us look up this this word. Izakaya is a type of Japanese pub. They are casual places oh. for after work drinking. All right. And I like. I really like that. Yeah. I have a character from. Weed pub. Here we go. <laughs> what, a, a what a cute name. Bed? Yeah, lavender bed. Here, let me get the address. You know, I wanted to say something. When we were over at Zenos, his house, and over in his yard, there were all his trees. He put these, he had two cherry blossom trees, but he put them all the way in the back. Wasn't using them to flex. What kind of humble man? <laughs> <laughs> so cute. Whereas I just lined my entire yeah. like pathway with them. Like, you gotta walk by all my cherry trees to get to the door. <laughs> Oh, look at the greeting! That is very cute. Oh, it's a little sign! I really like that. Other other eatery. <laughs> it's so cute. How precious. Okay, wildflower Un unpopular stall opinion. subdivision. Unpopular opinion, other other are the only, are the are only house walls that are okay. Burn Mughal, what? burn Chocobo, what? burn Paisa. I love Mughal houses. Carbuncle are barely okay. <laughs> Moogle houses are great because they have all that cute, like, wood and stone and flowers. Div is toxic. Yeah, exactly. I am toxic. Faye. I am so Moogle, toxic. Moogle houses look amazing in lavender beds. Yeah, is there a Moogle one here? Let's see. There probably is. Let's be real. 
Let's look around. The I'm chocobo sure. one. Oh, Don't look how cute. Other. Oh, there's a Mugo one down there. I see it behind this house. Disgusting. Okay. Disgusting, he says. I went and stood on the thing to get a good look at it. This way. Ah, Our bunk could work because the structure looks somewhat supportable. I see it over All yonder. Right, get, your, get your realism out of here. <laughs> Why okay, can't I jump first. this fence? This is a giant fence. Oh, look at look at you go. <laughs> Here's a cute Moogle house. Aw, oh, it is really cute. It's got it, hedges. It can work if, if you if you um What is it called? If you go all the way with like the Moogle beam and pink and white, it's fine. But it's There's another one. Hello? You're talking to me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, for you maybe, yeah. But like, I love all the cobblestone, and I love the like, raw Man, there's... wood, like, cutouts, yeah, I know. and it's, I know. the vibes, it has, like, so... so cute. The t like, the things on the bottom are like, so unique and nice, which all of the other walls do don't have. But the roof is ruining it. The roof looks exactly like the, uh, lawn! <laughs> like, it's green and flowery, what? Whoever and look at all the cute flower planters against the windows. Like, it's on, it now, is cute, but uh, <laughs> it's an eyesore. It, it has a cute butt. Eyesore. That's what Div said. You all heard him. No, Moogles other, have other cute stuff. butts. Div, twenty nineteen. Lauren, what the fuck? Moogles are not whoa, nice. Whoa, Did whoa, you play whoa, for Dark whoa. Deck? That, that, that that's a fiver, Mister. That is a fiver. That is a F five. <laughs> <laughs> F Piper, press F for oh god, okay. <laughs> god. You know, I visited a house on Fanfree uh, by Emo Drama Bomb, and he did a really clever thing that I actually I don't know if he did the yard, at, but the the yard was great. It kind of reminded me of Ilmeg. It was regular trees like the birch tree, but inside mm -hmm. he put the green. Um, beast lamp. What what are they? Like the, the it's the, the Hagen. Yeah, it's the lamp no one ever uses, so you couldn't see it, but it's inside the trees and it made this beautiful light and in lavender beds it especially looked really nice. That's cool. I can't imagine it looks really good actually. It's just uh, again, item slots and stuff like that. Especially in the garden, it's very punishing to not have items a bit far further apart from each other. And I'll, See, I'll really like the order. The thing about the Paisa houses is that everybody should have one because um, you need to have at least one skin in your bags at all times to do the easy. Oh, so I, so I've been house. I've been getting up to the roof really easy with just one tree house lately. A tree house oh, yeah. and an armor skin. Yeah, what I do is I'll put the tree house down like normal. And I'll stand on the top and the armor skin will come on and it has that chimney. So then I just uh -huh. pop up onto the chimney and then I pop up onto the roof. See, I'm really ultra lazy and I don't even bother getting on the roof anymore actually. I just use the I use the oriental deck and do the same thing. Yeah. It's the same exact glitch as using the bed to get under the steps. Same exact thing. I just use the oriental deck to get inside the house skin because I'm lazy. <laughs> oh, so bad. But it's you just don't have to like climb. Man, I remember the. Uh, are people still using the elevator glitch actually? No, but I think about it with the. Uh, with people the, still with use the, it because it's cool. The gate and stump. That's like classic. Yeah. Look how pretty the sky is. Oh, I know, oh right? My God, it's so cute. It's like it's seriously cotton candy. It looks so realistic. I know, right? It's almost done, and then we can begin our walkthrough. Oh yeah, I wanted to put on game music. Do you see the screaming skull in the cloud there, actually? Whoa. Uh, okay, okay, now I do. Thank you. Oh, All right. Listen, 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 <laughs> listen. The two eye holes on the top right, and the yeah. open screaming mouth on the bottom left. Yeah, well, I Well, anyways. See it. That's rude. <laughs> Lovely pink sky, Div sees a skull. Too much cloud gazing in Sims. Yeah, thing? I thought we were gonna be talking no, about he... Sims this weekend. Yeah, Div, oh my God. Div's, Div's a Sims <laughs> main now. Div doesn't play this game anymore. He cleared tight. Now he's like, all right, new game. Uh, uh, 
But to be quite honest, it's worth worlds apart. Like, honestly, Final Fantasy seems so extremely limited now. <laughs> Even more current. Of course it is, because it's not a <laughs> primarily housing game. It's, it's <laughs> primarily world exploration and story and and adventuring. Do the 100 Babies Challenge in Sims. I've, 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 I've started, I've started oh to watch a series. Goodness. There's like a series on BuzzFeed that I've watched at the <gasps> moment. Look at this now! Oh my god, the reaction! <laughs> He's up on a manor flower stand, look how tall he is! That's oh cute. my god, is he, is he eating his brethren? No, oh well, I don't know about this one. <laughs> oh, what's in this suit? He's so cute. I like the, look, look at the other, other land, the, um, the little socket below the... I uh, really, look, look at this window, like... it looks like it's mounted. Mm -hmm. It really does. It's so good. Okay, so this is perfectly set up the way that you have the counter and then the pastry displays, but only the top shelf showing. Like, it looks exactly like, I mean, legitimately. Uh, it, it, me being, you know, American, and I only really know the experiences that I've been to, and it looks like an actual sushi restaurant. Like, when you go to sit at the, the bar where the sushi chef is making stuff, like, that's what it looks like. No oh, Japan. America goes to a sushi bar. This is exactly like in Japan. Shh, shh, shh. <laughs> look, so, look over here at the lights. I didn't see that. I love the lights up top. It it's reminds so me of like flags almost. I just really enjoy that feeling of like having the out exterior of the house, which is supposed to be like that with window and stuff like that. Just so good, and the night yeah. sky next to it. You're right. This this is the exterior because there's the night sky and the little garden over there, and the window looking in. And now, this little, like, stand. I just want to point out that this person's actually using fish tanks without the fish. Look, they're just using the backs. Yeah, but it, nice. this is a really good way to hide it. Too. Oh, very risky though. Getting like, I think people saw PTSD from. The uh, aquarium increase and yes. what they brought down of the trivia under bugs. <laughs> oh, <laughs> where, yeah, where you can't overlap them at all. Yeah, and people like, they're all, like, you, as, as soon as you get them to close to each other, your entire game is gonna explode. And look, and this, this one's a tier four and this one's a tier three. That hmm. really is a weird choice. I, it <laughs> works, just though. Filling what fits. It yeah. works, yeah. They were just filling spaces, and those both fit perfectly. I Real love life. the night sky, it's super cute. Mm -hmm. This is cute, yeah. So downstairs is the cafe. Or that was the cafe, downstairs was the what? Uh, hold on. Oh look, they do have the little flaps when you walk through the door. Oh yeah, yeah there it is. Using the cute. human things. Real life. So there's bridges and everything downstairs. So here we go. Bridges. Oh. Wow. Whoa. Oh. Oh, how cute. Oh, I really dig this. It's so cute. With a water. Oh, this is so nice. With a little water in the. Yeah. It's what is that? Like bridges across like a little stream here. Oh, look. What it. is that little bridge made out of? Uh, uh this one? Hmm. I can't. Is it the manor? Uh, the ma manor uh, thing? I think it's part of the oriental bath, and yeah. then they put a plank right here. The uh, planner. Oh, it's, oh, yeah. oh, it's it part yeah. of the oriental bath. I just really like the wood texture of it and the color. Okay, yeah. That's so so it's, cool. the, it's the oriental bathtubs, and it looks like there's just another oh. one of the wall planters. Sorry, I'm like mm. looking. <laughs> it looks like a wall planter dyed like gobby bragger. Gobby bag or shale or something to match the the what you call it. This is cute. Oh, look at the night sky. I love this. And look, they use the mana that they use that really big doll display for a screen. Yeah. Oh yeah. God, this is so good. I'm broken. It's, Save me. I really like this. Like you just look at it. You don't even sit. It looks so. I can't really describe it. Feeling like you feel. Uh, I feel very immersed. Immersive. Yeah, I feel. I, I feel love better. the use of the um, oasis canopy bed to like make a little awning for you to sit under. Yeah, exactly. This is what runs it up perfect, quite literally. I, I just, know. They really like you. Uh, the Asian style of this, like 
they didn't use too many items that are too far. And this is perfect, like, this theme is just perfectly executed in my opinion. Look at the little I flower plots. Yeah, they, ha they have little flower plots. What's that for? Uh, the... They are from the screen. The oh, okay. Yeah. Doll yeah. Well, it works, though. So. Just a little extra. Yeah. It's also, this, I really this like... looks like something Aerith should come see. Yeah. I really Love like that. how... It's it's not a night sky and it's not a day sky. It's like in between twilight kind of. Kind of dusky, yeah. Yeah. This is a lot this of glitches. There's a lot of ambiance down here for sure, but it's so I don't know. It just feels natural. God, I need to visit this later on on myself because I just want to see. It is light level zero, right? Probably, oh. but just uh, I... uh is just... it? I don't I don't know because like it looks like the same uh, light level as my. But just with Ashton's set, so I just want to see it how it felt. Them. It's not. It's at least a. It's two. not. Wow, that looks. I wonder how it looks it's darker because the ceiling is gonna. Well, I mean, the, ceiling, the light's blocked off. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, it's inside a pillar. I see it. It's inside this hanging pillar right here. You can see the the light ray. Yeah. But I mean, look at the flex. We've got three Oriental altars. At least I was noticing that. Like, uh, uh we we've run H O H a couple times around here. Aren't the like the other other items are very expensive, and Van Vers also the shrine. Well, like, I mean, read. with the amount of times this person's run H O H. Exactly. You you get the item, the Empyrean like sand and log and stuff from the stacks from running H O H anyway. So. Oh, I I yeah, I don't know. I haven't cleared it yet because I just uh, I did it. This is a yeah, really I mean, great. I love this house. So cute. I love really? the Namazu everywhere. I love the otter otters everywhere. Hey, look, they did uh, they did this one a different color. I saw it looks really really cute um, from inside here. Oh oh wait a minute. I see what you mean. It's a different red. It's a it's a Dalmud red and so I think black red. Yeah, blood or rust. So, I think that would probably be my only, like, concern. Not concern, but just almost like a, hmm, did, was this not quite done yet? Because all of yeah. these wall planters down here making the railings around the water, mm -hmm. um, I almost feel like those would look really striking in that red as well. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah, I think the red would really make this pop. Or sure. maybe, or maybe even in the brown uh, color that the uh, the Hingen, uh, benches and the tables are actually. Yeah, yeah, that kind of orangey looking like sunset almost. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. To match the the otter otter. Yeah, I mean either one of those would really pop. Um, this is just the undyed color, so it almost makes me wonder like, did they, were they like still deciding on dyes or something because this one is a different red or like I don't know. But either way, I love the whole layout, and I love how it's designed, and- Oh, look! Glade cupboards! Yeah, I was looking at that. The best in slot housing item. This is a layering dream. Like, the amount of work they put into this. <laughs> no. Yeah, way. it really is super cool. And also, this is a- what size is that? Small, it's small. It's small? Yeah, like, how- that, that's like so many- so much stuff that's small, that's amazing. Well, and but the key there is that they use a lot of big items. Like yeah. the doll display is a big item. The um, eastern, or not the eastern, the oasis canopy bed is a big item. You know what I mean? Like it's, even the oh, otter otter tables. Yeah, yeah, everything is just perfect. Yeah, they, this is a fantastic, fantastic like hit the nail on the head with the design kind of how. Excuse me, I would like one cake, please. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the little, the little uh, Monster Hunter um, rose to the background just yeah. really makes it just spinning. Well, yeah, spinning the the movement and the light are real like, big back there to like give some activity, you know? Yeah. I love. I'd love to see more um, animate items. Yeah. It's just hard to, especially with a furniture contest. You have to buy the picture. So if you like try to animate something they're gonna put more work into it and maybe it's not what you imagined it to be currently i'm trying to figure out um i, I want i'm trying to figure out a design for a, a furniture item that is going to shine a light from top which you can interact with and disable if you want it right 
and there's gonna be a few particles, and I have no idea how to explain it <laughs> in a small description for that. The, the, the spotlights have particles, though, don't they? Yeah, I think I think I'm trying to. I, I think I'm trying to go for a bad light to do when I'm explaining. So, I mean, yeah, because that's that's one thing that I'm definitely gonna do is just equate it to something already in game. Like I, I'm built, I'm drawing something with some candlesticks in it, and I'm specifying that I want it to be the exact same light color and glow as the Blade <laughs> Lantern. <laughs> so oh my god. That, that and put that on this. Oh yeah, I should probably be taught, uh, I should probably mention it too, how I want the light level to be because we know all how expensive I panels have a I yellow don't want stand. It to be, I don't want it to be that yellow uh, <laughs> the, the green wax <laughs> ester candle. <laughs> <laughs> the disaster of that is the light sword. Uh, oh my god. Lord. Yep, just the, the off, barely off-white neutral Glade Lantern, please. <laughs> I really like that, yeah. Alright, well... Right. Did you see a message book? Yeah, it's downstairs. I'm gonna sign when... Oh, okay. But, that was our stream for the weekend, and... I don't think we have anything else planned. Well, we gotta go through the walkthroughs. Holy crap. We have <laughs> many, many walkthroughs. We have many walkthroughs, yes. We are, I mean, we're getting there, but we we still have a few to go through, so let's let's see if we can get through some more next week, possibly? Yes? Yes. I mean, we're... I think the, the, the majority of the next stream is The majority be... <laughs> of them that we've gone through, we've still managed to catch them at a point where they haven't remodeled yet. <laughs> so yeah. That's good. At least we're not that far behind. Yeah. yeah, that's true. We really gotta work through these before people. We kind of hindering people to actually do something. It's almost like yeah. we're the furniture uh, content. Yeah, I don't want people to feel like they can't remodel. So yeah, we'll get through those. I'm so glad that you guys uh, liked the mannequin display tips. Well, at least Skullfishy. Huh? Thank you, Skullfishy. <laughs> Thank you for validating. <laughs> um, but yeah, yay! Love this build. And uh, walkthroughs next week. Yes, 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 yes. Unless we think of something amazing to talk about, in which case. <laughs> yep. Alright, take Thank care, everyone. So Bye. Thanks, guys. Wish you guys a nice weekend. Have a good one.